All right, guys, here's an update on the formal super ray. All right, first off, we um, we got it all set on uh, top dead center. We started started at the beginning, all right? I had no spark at all, zero spark on any cylinder. Compression is beautiful, over 100. Um, everything's fine. So, pulled the magneto off and checked it out. And... As they say, you have to uh, think outside the box. Well, sometimes you got to think outside the magneto. Inside that magneto, the condenser sits, okay? The condenser sits in here, right here where I'm pointing, inside the magneto, okay? So, the problem was that that condenser was shorting out inside the magneto. I had this problem in the past. The coating insulation wore off of the magneto. I coated it with that liquid tape, which worked great for a while, but I obviously cracked and wore off. That's what the problem was again. And the wire was just, it was just screwed up in there. Could not get it, so I felt safe and secure about it. So, as I said, thinking outside the magneto, Took the, uh, the uh, condenser out completely. Connected the coil wire, wire that goes to, uh, to the condenser, and the points wired together. Right? Sealed them up tight, left them inside there where the condenser normally sits. Then, coming out of the hole here, okay, where the cutoff usually goes for the condenser. Okay, this is very crude and sloppy here. This was just a test, okay? We came outside, we mounted the condenser right there, okay, using a piece of electrical conduit onto a bolt for a ground, mounted the condenser. This was my crude test to try it out. I said, ah, what the hell have I got to lose? So that was my test, and I just connected it with an alligator clip, okay, doesn't get any cruder than that, but you know what? Two hundred dollars for a new magneto. I wasn't going to mess around doing that until I was one hundred percent sure that it was something very simple. So that's what we got there. Okay, this looks like a real Rube Goldberg job, I know. Okay, but that's what we got. Took the condenser outside of the magneto, mounted it, grounded it, and connected it to the wires. All right, so. With that jerry rig job done, okay, I also replaced the carburetor, put a Zenith carburetor on that I acquired from a friend, okay, and we're going to attempt to crank it up here, okay, and uh, see if we get contact. I figured it's going to work, let me get it on the video, so here goes absolutely nothing, okay. Let's see, brand new battery too, by the way. All right. There goes nothing, guys. Well, I hope it ain't nothing. I hope we got, we got juice here. Ooh. Okay, let me choke that a little bit. All right. Bear with me, guys. Hello? Yes, sir! Woo! Oh, my goodness. What do we have here? No smoke. No smoke at all. Sitting over two years. God damn. My oh my. I'm going to shut it off by shutting the fuel off because I don't have a cutoff on that magneto. Huh?
dog. Yeah, you got it, guys. <laughs> All right, we came outside the Magneto. I've never seen this done before. I didn't know it would work. I just gave it a wild shot, and look at that Rube Goldberg job there. Heavens to Murgatroyd. Yes, sir. It worked. All right. So, my goodness. We'll tidy this all up. Put a nice mount on here. Over here somewhere, mount that condenser. Seal up that hole. And we'll connect the, uh, the original uh, condenser kill switch wire to it. And we'll be set. I got to adjust that Zenith carburetor. It's got two adjustments on it. And uh, reset the timing. Just to just, uh, touch it up a little bit. My goodness, man, I am thrilled to death. This made my day. Holy Toledo, Ohio. Goodness. Didn't think it was going to come together this quick, boys. I'm glad I pulled out the camera. Yes, sir. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll be back soon. Book them, Daniel.